my name is Bernard Gunther. I am the CEO and co-founder of Novalik, uh, a specialty pharma company based in Germany. So what have we done in the, in the last year? We have developed a really new and unique uh, ocular truck delivery platform, which we call ISOL technology. Uh, based on this technology, we have brought uh, exactly one year ago our first product into the European market. Uh, the name of this uh, artificial eye drop is uh, EvoTears. And uh, so we are now exactly one year post launch. And I will come up with some data later on. Um, the ISOL technology is a versatile platform addressing the anterior and the posterior part of the eye. And um, our pipeline is mainly consisting so far with an advanced uh, cyclosporin A product uh, in a clinical phase two study here in the United States and um, with an upcoming approval for a, a product containing omega-3 fatty acids. And moreover, we have started in early preclinics uh, a glaucoma uh, program and a retinal disease program. Uh, how does uh, the artificial eye drop we have launched one year ago in Europe work? How does it work? It's a new mode of action, it's a physical mode of action, a covering due to the massive spreading capacity of the liquid covering the aqueous phase of the tear film, um, preventing it from too early evaporation. So what we are doing is addressing the by far underserved market of evaporative dry eye disease. It's a crystal clear liquid with a high spreading capacity. It's completely preservative free and due to the low surface tension of the liquid, it forms eye drops just with the content of 10 microliter, whereas the standard water eye drops uh, have uh, a content of 40 microliter, which is by far too big to fit into the cul-de-sac. And what is important to know is that most of the marketed artificial tears so far are just addressing the aqueous deficiency dry eye market. So we are one of the very first addressing the evaporative dry eye disease market. Yeah, <clears throat> some words to the already big success in Europe. So our exclusive license partner in Europe is uh, the German company Ursa Farm, which is the number two player for eye drops uh, in, in Europe. The product is launched in more than 10 countries now in Europe. Um, more than 500,000 units are sold in less than one year. And just to give you a, blazer, a flavor about the pricing situation, it's uh, placed as a premium product. So in Germany, um, they charge close to 20 euros for one month's treatment or 23, around about 23 US dollars. Um, this success, of course, is, um, is backed and driven by, by uh, uh, very, very convincing uh, scientific data uh, generated by very prestigious tri eye groups. So meanwhile, we have conducted three um, clinical studies, prospective multicenter non-interventional studies addressing three different populations. Uh, first, mild to moderate evaporative tri eye disease. The second group was um, patients uh, with uh, myeloma gland dysfunction. And the third uh, population, by far the, the most severe one, uh, patients suffering um, ocular craft versus host disease. And as shown here in these uh, uh, graphs, um, we have reached in the first two studies, the anti-001 and the anti-002 study, uh, we have really reached significant improvement in signs and symptoms of dry eye uh, disease. In this example here, a uh, significant reduction of the corneal staining and reduction of the OSDI-like questionnaires, which stands for the symptom site. And besides this, the product has shown an excellent tolerability profile. 
Yeah, so the feedback from the European patients from the market is, is uh, fantastic. It's terrific. Um, uh, patients like it very much due to the silky sensation uh, they, they uh, have with their eye drops. And uh, the key opinion leaders uh, standing behind this product, which is, which is not a miracle as they have uh, uh, generated this great data and saying this should be considered, Novartis or Evotirs should be considered the new standard therapy in tri-eye disease. On this slide, we have shown uh, the uh, different approval pathways and timelines in the most important uh, uh, pharmaceutical markets. So the first track shown here is um, uh, Evotirs, uh, which is already launched in Europe last year, as mentioned. And the second track, uh, the grayish one, shows uh, our approval pathway with the next upcoming uh, OTC product, which contains omega-3 fatty acids. And uh, we are expecting to get the approval mid of next year and the market launch in Europe in 2018. Um, furthermore, we have um, figured out how to bring the product to the market. Um, we had recently a meeting with the Japanese PDMA authority and they have granted us a medical device status, uh, which is great and shortens the, the, the time to market period and uh, therefore we expect a market launch in Japan in uh, 2018. Um, as well, we had uh, discussions, a pre-IND meeting with the US FDA. Um, for, for the US market, we will choose most likely the drug approval pathway. Um, and uh, therefore, we have uh, uh, discussed with them a very straightforward plan how to bring it to the US market and uh, the launch is expected to be in 2021. Yeah, as mentioned, strong scientific data available. Uh, this is recently published data, a publication uh, from late 2015 from uh, Steven et al. Uh, this is a group from University Eye Clinic of Cologne. Then a poster recently published during the TFOS meeting in Montpellier um, for several leading uh, tri eye researchers and um, the latest one um, from the um, German of Salmic Society meeting, um, which was held in Berlin early October this year, uh, showing the uh, excellent uh, outcome um, uh, when treating uh, patients with myeloma gland dysfunction. Yeah, what else can the innovation, the technology uh, provide? What kind of solutions can we provide with ISOL and what are the ophthalmic challenges uh, uh, people are facing? So, we can formulate with highly relevant drugs in ophthalmology, which are most of them considered as really poorly soluble. We can generate crystal clear preservative free solutions uh, providing all these benefits just mentioned, small droplet size, uh, not acting as an oxygen barrier to the eye, excellent spreading capacity, and uh, so uh, really poorly soluble drugs like latanoprost, like tacrolimus, like cyclosporin, or um, as mentioned, omega-3 fatty acid can be formulated as crystal clear solution, um, could be used in multi-dropping bottles without preservatives. And if not uh, possible to make uh, or to formulate a crystal clear solution, we can uh, 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 switch to superior suspensions just consisting of the drug particle and the vehicle itself. Moreover, this technology um, provides improved tissue penetration capabilities here shown um, with cyclosporin. We have compared our formulation, our cyclosol formulation to a marketed product and we have uh, seen here in the relevant tissue, in this case rapid uh, corneas, um, a, a penetration behavior, a drug concentration in the cornea, and an order by far more than an order of magnitude higher than the marketed product. 
And moreover, we have seen very, very thrilling data when we talk about stability um, capabilities uh, with respect to relevant proteins and antibodies. And due to this convincing data, we have stabilized relevant uh, antibodies over months at high temperature. So we are going now into a program to develop a tropical antibody formulation. As mentioned at the beginning of the presentation, our most advanced RX product is a cyclosporin A formulation, a crystal clear cyclosporin formulation. This is despite containing cyclosporin, it is definitely not a generic formulation due to this unique vehicle we are using. It's a forearm randomized parallel and double masked vehicle controlled study here in the United States. Um, we are very close to finalize uh, this study and we will see uh, the first headline data in early January next year. Um, some words to our omega-3 fatty acid um, product upcoming approval mid of next year and the launch is expected by end of the next year. The product is already partnered to Ursa Farm as well, our um, European license partner. Um, it's a crystal clear solution of omega-3 fatty acid which is definitely unusual. Um, there's other products on the market which are milky emulsions and with very low doses, uh, with, a low, with a very low omega-3 fatty acid content. Uh, we have um, the opportunity and we, we uh, made a, a high concentrated uh, formulation, which is the 0.2% concentration, uh, preser preservative-free, long-term stable, which is in particular remarkable as omega-3 fatty acid are considered as extremely unstable. It's one of the most unstable compounds available. And um, yeah, again, launch will be end of next year all over Europe as a CE marked product. Overview about our pipeline. It's divided here in two tracks. Uh, the upper one uh, shows the OTC uh, track, um, Evo Tears, which is already in the European market. Um, Nova Tears plus omega-3 fatty acid will reach the market end next year and Nova Tears in Japan um, as a medical device is planned to be in the market in 2018. Uh, below the RX uh, pipeline, the most advanced product of course just mentioned is uh, Cyclosporin A, uh, end of phase two. Um, we are planning to uh, uh, set up the Nova Tears US uh, uh, strategy as, as a, um, a truck um, uh, within the truck pathway. This will take, of course, some time more. And uh, beside this, we have set up early preclinical programs uh, to address the market of glaucoma and retinal diseases. So. Um, at a glance, we offer really a unique and innovative technology platform, a brand new uh, universe of drug delivery, completely water-free. We have successfully launched a first OTC product addressing the 2 billion artificial market, uh, artificial tears market. We have a very advanced phase two program for severe dry underway. And of course, we are looking forward to go into collaborations with farmers as well. Uh, the last slide shows our executive management team and uh, as you can see here, number one in this row is uh, Christian Reski, which will be the new uh, chief executive officer for the company as of November 1st this year. And it's my pleasure to stay in the company as a chief innovation officer and co-founder and uh, I'm at the end of my presentation now and thank you very much for your attention.